Hi and welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Carmen and I am a crochet and knitwear designer. I design for newleafdesigns.nl and you can also find me by that name on Instagram. In this video I'm going to show you how to add the fringe to my Chevre Rainbow crochet blanket. This crochet blanket is made from a color pack from Scapey's Stonewashed Yarns. Um, I've already used mine, of course, so I can't show you, but it looks a bit like this. The, the, this is the um, worsted Aran weight, and I have used the regular stone washed, which is the uh, kind of fingering DK weight. Each Scapius stone washed color pack comes with 10 gram balls in 50 colors, and I've used those all the way throughout this blanket. And I've also used 10 balls of regular 50 gram Scapey stone washed, which I've used to alternate in between the, the rainbow, actually. So you can see here I have five uh, rows of the blue before I transition to the green and do five rows of that. And then do some lighter green, lime green, and all the way through. And I'm alternating with um, with the tiny 10 gram balls of the color pack. So this blanket uses the entire color pack and an, an additional 10 balls of 50 gram uh, escape you so much. As you can see, so I'm not entirely done with the fringe, but in the pattern you don't weave in the ends which is great. And I'm going to show you how to incorporate these ends into the fringe. All right, so here you can see what I've already done. I'm waiting with cutting off the fringe until I finish the whole fringe so I can cut it off all to the same length. And now I'm going to do this part and I've already assembled the yarns. I need for this section, I need my white that I've used here as the background color. And I've assembled the leftovers that I had from the 10 gram balls. I'm using the same crochet hook as I used for the blanket, which is a four millimeter crochet hook. And I'm gonna attach the fringe to this white section here. So I'm going to take some yarn and I'm just going to wind it around my fingers, using my fingers as a measurement. So I'm stretching out my uh, pointer finger and I'm wrapping the yarn around twice. Just grabbing it here. I'm snipping both of these strands. One of them will go to the yarn ball. And now I have a fringe of two strands. I'm gonna grab that here. Um, you want to use the middle part to pull through the fabric, so make sure to lock in that middle part. Um, right, so keeping this in our left hand, we're gonna be inserting the hook into this edge stitch. Now, um, I'm gonna insert it right through here see there are two strands so it will be nice and secure. I'm gonna grab the middle of the fringe, pull it through, then I'm gonna grab this uh, leftover strand here, the end, and I'm gonna wrap all of those through this little loop and pull it tight a little bit. That is how I attach a fringe. And it's it's really nice because you can just incorporate the end and um, it won't show. I'm grabbing the next color now. Again, stretching my pointer finger and wrapping it around. Snipping these two ends and I'm gonna hold it in my left hand. Now this edge stitch looks the same as the white stitch so I'm gonna 
insert my hook into the very same place, grab the middle of the fringe, pull it through. Now add the end and pull it through the loop once more. So much for watching this tutorial and don't forget the free pattern for this chef rainbow blanket can be found on my blog newleafdesigns.nl. See you next time! Bye bye!